What's up everybody and welcome to PT Pioneer. Coach Tyler here. Today we have a special guest for you guys. His name is Matteo Baker. He's going to be talking about the top personal training certifications in the industry. So before we get started, who is Matteo and why does his opinion on personal training certifications matter? Anyways, let's find out. Matteo Baker was the former manager at Gold's Gym Venice Beach for approximately 10 years. They call this the Mecca because it's probably the most well-known gym in the whole entire world. After working as a general manager, he moved up to be an executive manager or a regional manager in the Los Angeles region. He was the guy that was in charge of hiring all the personal trainers and making sure that they were all qualified to work at Gold's Gym Venice, where the clientele were some of the most prestigious clients including actors and sports stars in the entire world. It was his responsibility to decipher between the bad certifications, the good certifications, and the great certifications. Here's Matteo outside Gold's Gym Venice with the man himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Here's Matteo with two heavyweight boxing champions, the Glitchko brothers, inside Gold's Venice. Here's another picture of him with Vladimir Glitchko doing some training. Here's him with Mike O'Hearn, one of the biggest names in fitness today. Here's him inside Gold's gym with the Apollo Creed, you know, the guy that they made the movie after. Needless to say, Matteo has seen hundreds of different personal training certification options, and he is an expert on this topic. He's here today to give us some insight on what makes a good personal training certification, as well as the top personal training certifications in this industry today. Without further ado, let's bring Matteo onto the show to talk about this. All right, Matteo, thanks for joining us at PT Pioneer. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Tyler? Doing good, doing good. So where are you at right now? That background looks pretty awesome. Yeah, it is because I'm in the awesome Medellin, Colombia right now. Medellin, Colombia. Yes, sir. All righty. Got big things going on here. We love it here. <laughs> right on. Cool. Thanks for taking some time out of your day to answer some questions on personal training certifications. Uh, let's jump right into it. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. I hear you got some questions for me, huh? Okay, so when you were working as the manager at Gold's Venice, what were, you, what were the most important things that you were looking for when you were hiring a personal trainer to work there? Yeah, absolutely. I would say the first thing that we look at is that the trainer be certified from a legitimate certifying agency. It's, it's absolutely critical that they have the right credentials behind them before we'll bring them on. Awesome. Right on. Yeah, definitely. I agree. Um, let's see. The next thing is, uh, so you talk about legitimate certifying agencies, but what makes a cert legitimate in the first place? So. Well, when they're nationally accredited, uh, then we know that they've, they've went through like the superior training because we don't want just any Tom, Dick and Harry in there that, you know, maybe get some kind of overnight, uh, certification online. So these organizations ensure high standards in the curriculum. They test before they get their certifications. Uh, there's in-depth study materials, their curriculums, their textbooks. I mean, it really covers everything, everything from modalities of training. It actually promotes uh, safety, um, efficient program design for the clients, obviously the references that they use, uh, evidence-based science instead of just, you know, bro science. You know, when our trainers are speaking to a client, they, they come, they, they come um, at it with a, a scientific background with, you know, with their answers. They, they don't just come back with just pulling something out of the air. You know, they actually have science behind uh, their move, movements, their methods. Uh, evidence-based science instead of bro science, like I said, I think it's the most important thing. Gotcha. So when you talk about legitimate um, accreditation agencies, um, yeah, which ones? Which ones do you mean? As I know, there are various. Uh, well, like such as NCCA or the DEAC. Cool. Um, so, what are the top personal training certifications in your opinion? So, when you're hiring somebody, I know there's a million different certifications. People can get stuff online. You know, I've seen over a yeah. hundred different names pop up, and a lot of them are scams. A lot of them are mid-level ones, and then obviously, um, there's top top tier certifications as well. So, what were you looking for? Which certifications in particular were you looking for when you were hiring a trainer at Gold's? Yeah, I'd say there's really about. I've, 
like kind of the top five that we would that we'd seek after. And that would be ACE, which is the American Council on Exercise. Um, there's NASM, which is the National Academy of Sports Medicine. Uh, we also look for ACSM, which is American College of Sports Medicine. Then there's NSCA, which is National Strength and Conditioning Association. And then ISSA, International Sports Science Associations. So I think those would be the top five that we'd look at. Awesome. That is great because we have a lot of people coming to the site asking, asking me about the top personal training certifications. And I totally agree with you. Uh, all five of those are super well recognized and the curriculum is awesome for all of those in my opinion. Uh, so after this video, I'm going to be going over all these certifications uh, one by one talking about the pros and cons. So stick around for that. Why yeah. is it, why is it important to hire these uh, only qualified personal trainers? Like what does that mean for the gym? And what does that mean, you know, for you guys and the trainer? When, when we know that somebody gets a, a, an accredited certification that it's going to cover the liability, um, it, it helps the image of the gym because then we know that they've got the proper science and training behind them. Uh, we've got a lot of celebrities, high, pro, high profile folks coming in, athletes. These guys are paying big money and they deserve, you know, only the best. So, you know, we have to have competent trainers that can make sure that these guys can get to their goals and reach their expectations. You know, we have everything from a housewife to somebody that, you know, is going to be playing in the NFL. So, right. so yeah. No, that makes sense. Um, so when I think of Gold's Gym, <clears throat> I, I primarily think of like the golden era of bodybuilding, like Arnold and all the big names going there, working out outside, obviously. Um, so when I think of goals, I think of all, all bodybuilders and mostly trainers that are going to be working with bodybuilders. So are you, are you only hire, are, were you only hiring trainers that work with bodybuilders or is there a huge wide variety of trainers that, that you hired for goals? Now Gold's Venice is, you know, where I was based out of. Yeah. That, that was a little bit more of an exception to the rule. And there was still, you know, we had 16,000 active members, Dang. but you know, there's still a small percentage of those folks were, were bodybuilders, but people wanted to come from around the world just to get a glimpse. They remember the glory days in the sixties and seventies when, you know, Arnold Mufregno and all those guys were in there and, you know, it's kind of kept that aura about it. And it's still, you know, a lot of celebrities still go in there and things like that. So people go in there to see them. All right. Yeah. So I, I, you know, it's all walks of life. It's not just bodybuilders, obviously with over 600 gyms. Right, right. So, so I'm guessing that your trainers need to be, you know, experts in a, a wide variety of different types of training to, to work at, to work at gold. Oh yeah. I mean, they, they need to, to have knowledge with you know, corrective exercise training, uh, how to get somebody to their, their weight loss expectations. Right. Uh, they need to understand how to work with athletes. Right. And obviously there's occasional working with bodybuilders. There's post rehab, which is critical. You know, a lot of people have, you know, everybody has, has had something going on with them, right? A knee or back, uh, you know, there's a lot of serious things going on. So, you know, we want people that have had some post rehab training, uh, special populations training, such as uh, maybe somebody with diabetes, uh, pregnancies, um, post surgeries. Uh, so, you know, the, the list goes on. But, you know, the, the certifications that, um, that produce the most competent trainers um, are, are capable of working with really all types of clients. Right. Cool. Uh, yeah. No, I, I, I agree. You can't, just, you can't just be a trainer that can only do one modality of training. Otherwise, you're so limited with the number of clients you can train for one, uh, but also your value to, to any gym that you're going to work at because you're not going to get no clients the same, you know, they're all going to have different needs, uh, obviously. So, and different goals as well. So you need to be competent. Um, makes sense. Definitely. Awesome. Mateo, thank you, uh, for stopping by spending your time to answer these questions for us today. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I've been hearing a lot about you guys, so I'm wishing you guys the best of luck. Uh, you know, and any kind of help I it can ever offer you, if you ever need anything from me, I'm here. 
and awesome. uh, we met in, we, you remember we met in Medellin not that long ago so yeah, was, uh, yeah. about two I, years ago we met in Medellin and I'm gonna be going back there so if I if you're still there in March we'll be yeah man we'll have to cross paths that'd be cool be cool and um, I'm I'm enjoying watching you guys flourish man good luck with this company man good for you Right on. Yeah, we're just trying to get as much good information to the to the trainers or potential trainers that are coming to the site. So that's our goal and keep at it. Yeah, I know you guys are doing good work. So I appreciate it, man. And I and I think getting them these these facts about, you know, who's most recognized and stuff. It can, you know, some of these young guys coming up, that's real important for them. You know, sometimes they'll get, you know, some false information and they'll spend money online. And I hate to see anybody wasting their money or or get some kind of certification, go through a, uh, you know, go through some kind of program, spend their money, lose it. And then all of a sudden they go to some gym to get hired and they're like, you know, we don't take this or this isn't going to help you. Or they learn some information that's not even good and it could hurt somebody or hurt their career. So I, you know, like I said, I really appreciate what you guys are doing. Absolutely. Cool. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by once again. And you, you know, disfruta tonight in Medellin. We'll do it Saturday. <laughs> have fun. Have fun. Hit the town. Yeah. And I, I might see All right, buddy. you soon, so I'll hit you up when I'm down there. Definitely do, man. All right, buddy. I'll see you. All right, man. See ya. Peace. <laughs> okay, everybody. That concludes our interview with Mateo Baker on the top personal training certifications and why they're important. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel below if you found this helpful. If you're currently on my website, below this video I'm going to be going over those top 5 certifications in depth, talking about the pros and cons of each of them. On the other hand, if you're watching this video on YouTube, I'll have a link in my description that will go to the article talking about the top 5 personal training certifications. Until next time everybody, good luck with all the training.